Hello and welcome back to x -Plane. For today we're going to be doing a DME arc using the HSI and the RMI in combination. Our target for today is going to be a 5 DME arc from inbound radio 180 to inbound radio 270. So, to establish when we're going to turn, we take our airspeed times 0.01, so 1% of our airspeed is about 0.9, so 0.9 DME from 5 is going to be 5.9 DME since we're inbound. So the first thing we're going to do is to establish our course to the end, so we're going to need this since we're inbound on to 70. So we're about to turn right now and 5.9 and we begin our turn to the left because that is what I see our direction to be. Now, I'm just going to start a gentle turn off to the left like this. Our target once again is 5 DME. We don't want to be too close or too far. Alright, I'm gonna slow the I'm gonna slow the uh, the rate of turn just for a bit, just so that we don't overshoot. There we go. Okay, I'm going to keep the RMI in this position until we reach about 5.0 nautical miles. Let's try to maintain our altitude while we do this. There's 5.1. Slow our airspeed back to about 90. That's our target. There's 5 nautical miles, and we're just going to have our RMI be perpendicular to our heading. There we go. And now we just make the DME arc. So now we just want to keep that RMI perpendicular. Another method of course is to just fly straight, let the RMI drop uh, about 10 degrees down and then follow it in. That's one way to do it, but uh, to create a more rounded uh, DME arc, I'm just going to follow the RMI as it turns. a very very slight turn as we do this is just like an extended turns around a point exercise so we keep that DME locked by making sure that our RMI is perpendicular to our heading and uh, that is what we want to do until the tail of our RMI gets to 270. And we're just going to continue on this heading. Be a slight turn as the RMI moves as well. Very, very slight. You may also notice that I'm not really using the heading bug in this case, and that's because uh, my aim here isn't really to maintain a constant heading, but to maintain a constant DME. That's really the goal here. By the end of this, our heading is going to be 090, so that's, I guess, something we can set that to for now. As you can see, the DME is now extended to uh, 5.1, so I'm going to correct that. By turning a bit more to the right, having the RMI head dip just a little bit above my 90 degree point, and now it's back to 5.0. I'm gonna get that perpendicular again. There we go, keeping it at 5.0. That's what we want. <clears throat> Ok, 
Okay, that's 5.1 again. Let's bring it back to uh, 5.0. I wasn't paying enough attention to the RMI there, but in this case, it's not too much of a problem. We can always bring it back. Maybe a bit more inside as we are approaching the radial that we're targeting. There's five nautical miles once again. Let's go perpendicular. And now that our RMI is about 10 degrees from our target, we are going to start turning to the right to intercept our inbound radio. As you can see, our HSI is moving as well. So I'm just going to see if we can intercept this. I'll keep the turn nice and shallow for now so we don't need to wait for too long for that thing to center up. Just maintain this heading for now. And then I'm gonna come in a little more steeply. This is a bit more than a standard rate of turn and kind of overshot a bit, but we can always make a correction. And there it is. And there it is. And now we are inbound radio 270. And if we take a look at the graph that we've made here, we have maintained a 5 DME arc from inbound radio 180 to inbound radio 270. So that is how to do a DME arc with your HSI and RMI. If you found that useful, consider giving a like and subscribe because I'll be making more short scenario videos like this in the future. Thank you very much for watching.